Boom, there it is, Apple Vision Pros. These bad boys just hit the market. They've only been out for a couple days now. Swung by the Apple store, picked up a pair, opened this box, see what they're all about, huh? All right, so a lot of you probably don't even know what this is. Maybe some of you do know what it is, to be honest. I don't even fully know what it is, but I know it's brand new. I know it's probably pretty cool. So we're trying to be the first ones on the Apple Vision Pros here. Come on. Check those bad boys out, huh? They're like moto goggles. Brand new, signature series. Check that out. Oh, we got chargers, a couple adapters, stickers. So this is Apple Vision Pro, brand new goggles, like a whole virtual experience. You throw these things on, you can multitask. You see screens that come up all around you. A lot of you are probably thinking, yo, that's pretty lame. Cause we're already on our phones too much anyways, which yo, I hate to do it too. This is my job, so I love making content for you guys. So we're just doing this for content. Don't think I'm gonna get locked in be wearing goggles all the time, like I don't ride dirt bikes, so I'm not outside every day. This is just something new, trying to try it out. See what all the hype's about and be on the forefront of the future. Move this cover, with that beanie off. Gotta get a proper fitment. See you guys on the other side, huh? <laughs> all right, here we go. You guys are now locked in with me. We're in the Apple Vision Pros right now. The garage, it's looking pretty dialed. It feels like I'm right here with you guys, hanging out. Press this home button, see if we can get ourselves into, and then check it out. That'd just be like your uh, iPhone Apple display. All the widgets are up here, all your apps, and then you just look with your eyesight. So I'm just looking around, seeing what I want to go to, and then you just pinch your pointer finger and your thumb together. I guess that's how you click on stuff, so I'm looking at Safari. Boom. Google comes up, keyboard right here in front of me, and then you have to individually look at each letter. So I'm, let's go to YouTube, let's watch some stuff. Looking at the Y, pinch, O, pinch, U. I'm slowly working through the keyboard here. Damn, that's really weird. Take some time to get used to. And then look at my display. It's just up over here, hanging out above the bikes. It's uh, pretty wild, huh? There it is, YouTube channel pops up. Pinch to scroll, and you can get through all the videos. Damn, you guys been racking up the views. Half a million on Glamis. Move the screen right over here, make it a little bit bigger. Let's go, come on. And then I just look up here, turn the knob, get the volume up. There's the 450 out for the count. I'm back in the block. The clutch was slipping on the recluse, so now he's on the gates, gates, back and jack. Oh, we're in, full screen. We're locked in right now. It's like a cinema. This is probably the best way to watch vlogs. Right here, with inside the Apple Vision Pros. I got a, I'm pushing a 200 inch screen right now. I thought my 75 inch was cutting it in my bedroom. No way, this is the only way I'm doing it. Tap the X here, and now we're just back in the garage. So let's do some bike work. All right, here we go. Full days of bike work and the Apple Vision Pros. I'm locked in right now, you guys are locked in. Fully immersed. As you can see, the uh, the speed's a little bit dirty here. I haven't washed in about six or nine rides. It's all crusted on there too. Let's take the speed out here, give her a well-deserved rinse down. Ooh, it's nice out today. California's been raining this whole week. It's the first sunshine we've seen in four days. First things first, Yoshimura butt plug. Don't want any water in that packing. This is another one too, grab the eight here, you gotta pull the seat off. It uh, soaks your foam full of water. So then your seat turns into a couch cushion. When your seat bouncing, the subframe goes right up the arse. Now check this out. I got my bike all here, ready to rip. We'll open Safari here. Place the screen behind the bike over here. Straighten a super cross, we'll full screen it. I got a video going while I'm washing my dirt bike. How insane is that? Oh, she's flooded. Look at Eli, he's chopping it up. I was like, yo, you know there's a super cross race going on, right? Let's see where his priorities lay. Rip a start. We're gonna rip some bike work. Get the ski clean. And then look, I got the screen over here now. Say it's too big. I'll bring it in tight for us. I can make it smaller. Push it down right here. I'm in the action. I'm gonna pop up a secondary here. Put over my notes. It says I need to do oil and air. So in case I forgot, make it a little smaller here. Oil and air is due. Put it right there by the bike. 
El Hombre's winning motos. I got oil and air to do after I wash this thing. Pretty wild. All right, now that we got the steed all rinsed off, she's looking good. Got my little foam cannon right here. This thing's next level. It's a game changer. For all you auto detailing guys out there, you know what this is. Fill this bad boy up. There we go. Laying down the foam, baby, let's go. Really get up under there, get in the can. Gotta get where the dirt's really hitting. Let the neighbors come by. Have a good one, boss. Damn, you hear that? Look at the suds just coming off the steed right now. So it was nice out earlier, sun was out, now the clouds are rolling in. We've had a bunch of rain lately. Let's check weather real quick. 54 degrees. We got a little bit of wind coming in. It's saying 91% rain here at one, but right now it's looking okay. Leave this over here because the mailman's coming. How are we doing today, boss? You should have done this a couple of days ago. You could have got a free rinse. I know, I missed out, huh? That's what I was just looking at. I was looking at the weather right now, and I'm like, it's not even raining today. No, you should have done this a couple of days ago. It's making me work harder. You wouldn't have to pay for the water to rinse it off. I know. We're wasting money. How you been, though? Good? Oh, yeah. Same old poop, but different day. He's doing the rain dance. Have a good one, boss. Yeah, 54 right here, and you can see it's looking like we're going to stay dry here the whole time. Hopefully he doesn't take my screen out. I don't have to move it up over him. Later. We're good. Back to washing, huh? Gotta get up under here. Look, I still got stuff stuck in there. Been free riding. We haven't hit tracks. I've only ridden one paid public track in the past uh, three months, actually. It's pretty crazy. The rain's been so good. Making the dirt nice for us. 49s are Chiefs. Who you guys got? Super Bowl coming up. Two days from now. Sunday, it's going down. Here's what I do, I always take the butt plug out. Some water builds up a little bit in between the pipe. Super major key right here, one of the biggest things that people slack in meadow, chain loop. Especially after a wash, you don't want that thing resting out on you. I kind of get happy with it. I get some rotations, I'm hitting every link on there. Back to the garage. Damn, we're running out of room in here. Got Riders Yamaha up here, my spare bike. Eli's pushing three bikes, but not one of them's complete, blown off front end. Two missing rear ends. My most recent Amazon purchase, probably my best yet. 60 volt. Put that bad boy in turbo. Here's the one I normally run, no toil. Let me hook it up, shout out to no toil. I actually don't have any clean ones right now. I'm gonna have to hit them up for another filter, but that's it right there. Yeah, I think it's time to clean it. Come over here, throw the gloves on and check it out. My screen is still right there. We don't see anything, it's transparent. We're seeing straight through, I can still see the bike. When I come around the other side here, yank this filter out. It's not horrible, not horrible. We've definitely seen worse, but we're definitely not sucking any dirt too. So the biggest thing you could do right here is keeping your filters clean. Oil and air will make a bike last forever. Today we're just gassing out petroleum since uh, gas prices are so cheap all around the world, especially in California. I'm upstairs in the kitchen. Most people do dishes. Let's wash my filter. Little Dawn. Saves ducks, it'll save your filter. Takes all the oil out of there, just like that. Quick little flicks. You seen the hairdryer? Is that why I smell gas? Yeah. I was tripping, bro. I, I gassed up the entire front yard and the whole kitchen. Have you seen the hairdryer? 
Yeah. Hair dryer. Dry that thing out quick. Boom, all dry. Ready for some oil. Now that our filter's all dry, go ahead and oil it up here. Not too much, not too little. Good enough to me. Work it in. Get that cage rack on. Look at that Honda air filter. Probably the most annoying. I don't know if it's the best design here, but the reliability is second to none with the steed. Slide it in there, make sure you're all the way to the back. Clipped in, come with the cage. Boom. So this is what I normally run right here, Rotella T. This oil is so good. Been in the industry for years, a 1540 right there. I don't have any right now. Second choice is coming over here. This is the Dello, 1540 as well. Diesel oil lasts so long, holds up well. Get a few extra rides out of it, so. We'll get it over here too, move it around. Ooh, I'm stripping bolts on my old oil here. As you can see, we've changed a lot of oil, a lot of dirt bike riding. Oh, look at that, that's murky. That might even have water in it. A trusty tool kit. Ever seen a more organized and nicer set of tools? One grip, not even two, but one. Old tags. It's got every tool in there. I'm telling you, it's just sometimes hard to find them. I don't actually do too many rides on this, so let's see how she looks. Ah, not too bad. Could be better. How much oil does a Honda 450R take? So easy. These are answers I already know, but I just want to show you guys what's going on, how cool this stuff is. 2,000? I would never go that hard. Oh, that's for a quad. I'm not going to do an oil filter right now because I don't have one. The clutch kind of sits low on this, so I'm going to do about 1,200, maybe even 1,250 once all this drains here. Watch, my, my bell fouls out. I'm done. Oh, there we go. And then the craziest thing as we're sitting here watching this oil drain, check this out. Come over here. We go to environments, we can go anywhere we want. White sands, it's kind of giving a Glamis vibe. Looks like my bike is just chilling at Glamis. And then you can immerse yourself even more so. Look at bikes fully disappeared. I'm here in the sand, full 360. Just out here chilling at Glamis, no one else. Just me and my dirt bike, well there was my dirt bike. Hanging out down in the sand, not a single mark. I'm talking like, dude, look at this lip. Come up over this ridge right here, drop down. Whoa, third, a little G out, right in between these two. Field goal, boom. Dune to dune over there. You'd have to come around. I'd almost come in, jump over this one, grab third gear, and I'd go wide. Go dune to dune over on that side. This is kind of like the little dunes. Washes over there, big dunes over this way. It's pretty wild out here. And it'll take us back down. And we're back. Back to the garage, unfortunately. Bike work first, glam a second. No look, no problem. Oh, he's a professional. I'm telling you, the guy's a professional. HRC's been hitting me up a bunch, trying to get me over there. Lars Lindstrom, my good buddy Joe Shimoda, who I've known amateurs for years. They really want me over there as a mechanic, but I'm just... I'm too busy trying to ride myself and make these YouTube videos, so just snug there. Dialed. Got too many bikes in here. I can't even get to my tools. I'm gonna get it first try. Give it to 14. Feels like a 12. And it looks like a 12. There it is. It's hiding. Too many tools. Only need a few of them, too. Where's it hiding out of here? Got paper towels in my funnels. Making sure there's no dirt. Grab some Dello here. Quick a 500. Then a 500 into another 250. Go on the full 1250. Cold out. Look at the viscosity. This thing's so thick, it's going down so slow. Quick another 500. Oh, we have just enough to get the job done. Then a 250. There's like 
10 cc's. So when medium goes to change his oil here in three months, he'll have 10 cc's of that left in there. All right, there it is. Get my funnel back. Am I leaking a little bit? Ah, mellow. There it is. Oil and air filter all done. If you guys like this video, this new Apple Vision Pro or this POV angle of me talking, me working on the bike, showing you guys videos, comment below. Let us know if you want more of this. Definitely having fun.